In the 1930s, almost everyone was having a tough time. To help congregations support their local relief efforts, these little boxes were sent across the country. They raised thousands of dollars to feed the thousands of people going hungry. It's still a great idea. We started a program called Pennies for Hope when Minister Flaherty decided that the, the penny had no, no value in the Canadian monetary system. So we, uh, we told everybody that would listen that we need your pennies, you know. Um, the lowly penny in a collection can feed a lot of people. It basically cost us about three dollars to feed somebody here. And so for every three dollars worth of pennies we collect, we're providing hope for somebody. So the program is Pennies for Hope. We've, uh, we've collected about ten thousand dollars worth of pennies and uh, we're so proud of that. And you know what's great about the penny collection is that everybody can participate. You know, those that we serve, you know, our, our members or our guests will come to me and they've got 20 cents and they're so happy. You know, they've been collecting these pennies from the street and they're just so happy to give back to, to uh, help us. Little kids coming in from schools, church groups. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of the United Churches that I visit have uh, their children collecting pennies on a regular basis. So um, the pennies, uh, it's still valuable to us here at the mission. The Mission and Service Fund also accepts your pennies, as well as larger coins. Thank you for your support, and please continue to give. <laughs>